Psalms chapter 126, verse 1. When the Lord Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then said they among the heathen, The Lord Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai have done great things for them. The Lord Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai have done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahusha, 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 Baha Shum, Racha Ha Kodash, Kahalayim La, Allah Hayanawa, Abanawa, Yahweh, Baha Shum, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shum, Racha Ha Kodash, Double Honor, Ty Elder Apostles and Elder Bishops of Great Millstone, Peace and Blessed City Elect. The house of David, Shalom. The nightmare is almost over. The nightmare is almost over. This beast system, you know, America, which is the whore, the right of the beast, America, Babylon the Great, is soon going to be no more. Okay, the, the American dream is going to be no more in, in this place in general. Esau Edom's world, which is a bad dream, will soon be no more. All right. And pretty much. Uh, and pretty much that's what I'm stating in this video. I pray this is edifying. All right. I pray it's edifying, but. Verse 1 basically hits home for me. This is one of my favorite psalms, you know. All the psalms are good, but uh, I like reading this one, you know. Because, <laughs> you know, I, like I be, you know, telling brothers, man, we need salvation from this nightmare. We need salvation from this nightmare. This is a fucking nightmare, man. Every day you wake up in this place. <laughs> you go to sleep, but you wake up again. You go to sleep, you wake up again. You're in a freaking nightmare, man. And it's far worse than what we think. It's far worse than what we think, man. We don't even know how bad it is because we in it. You know? You, you don't know how bad shit is till you get out of the shit. <laughs> like old boy said, what's that one movie? Uh, uh, Tales from the Hood. Knee deep in the shit. We knee deep in the shit in America, man. Hell, drowning in it. What it say in the book of the prophet Hosea, uh, chapter 8? Is it 8, verse 8? I know it's in chapter 8, I believe. Israel is swallowed up. Now shall they be among the Gentiles as a vessel wherein is no pleasure. So <laughs> it's bigger than being knee deep in the shit. We, we fully swallowed up in it, man. Consumed in curses, man. Through. So when the Lord saves us, when he turns our captivity meaning reverse it okay it's gonna be like we woke up from a bad dream imagine that and it's real then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue was singing man imagine laughing about it like the lord bring you out of a bad situation and you wasn't laughing about it when you was in it because it was hell but he got you out of it and you actually laughing about it bro the lord is gonna do phenomenal things man and our tongue was singing. We're going to be singing. And this ain't talking about no Edomites because Edomites can't sing. It's talking about Israelites, you know. <laughs> well, even right now, they got a, uh, like a, a docu-film, you could say, about uh, Aretha Franklin. I want to say it's on um, Amazon Prime. It might be on HBO Max, but I know it's on Amazon. But uh, who's that? Jennifer Huston playing her, you know. You got Marlon Wayans playing her husband, you know. Whatever, you know what I'm saying? But Israelites can sing, so we ain't talking about no crackers, man. You know, we, we the people of soul. You know, you Edomites don't got no soul, man. You know what I'm saying? But uh, <laughs> read on, man. Psalm 126 and uh, 2. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue was singing. And it begins with um, this truth, you know, the Holy Spirit, which is only given unto the prophets, you know, 
the hopeful elect out there, the 144,000, as it tells us in uh, Revelation chapter 14, and, and no man can learn that song, which are the prophecies, the understanding of this truth, but the 144,000, all right? And you're going to have other members of the elect, they're going to understand this thing, but, but they're not going to do what the prophets do. There's different, you know, members of the elect, but, you know, the prophets are going to prophesy, you know? Like Elder Wamba said, you know, like the beloved Eliash Wamba said, everybody talking, but the prophecy's walking, man. You know? So read this again. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue was singing, beginning with the joy of the Holy Spirit, but it's going to physically manifest into us actually being happy from getting saved from this horrible place and getting saved from that destruction to come. Then said they among the heathen, the Lord have done great things for them. The Lord have done great things for us. So even other nations are going to see it and acknowledge it. These got to be the people of the most high. Because the Lord going to come through for us, man. You know? The Lord have done great things for us. Where else we are glad. He going to save us. You know, that's also in the book of the prophet Isaiah. Lo, meaning look, this is our God. We have waited for him. And ain't talking about you goddamn Christians because you just living your best life. Here in America and, and all around the earth, Christianity been around for the longest. If that was the truth, the end would have been came. You know, look how fast the time sped up as soon as our apostles got on YouTube, man. This is the truth that we believe in. All right. And, and I wholeheartedly believe that, man. You know, I pray the Lord keep his spirit on me, you know, keep his spirit on us. But yeah, we going to get up out this bitch soon. Turn again our captivity, oh yeah, how will Bashim Yahweh shy as the streams in the south? And he can reverse it just like that, bro. And he's gonna do it soon. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. You sow in tears by, by you know doing this work and being afflicted. You know that the hell you catch in the truth. You know? <laughs> the, the condition of the battle. Alright? You go through it. But it's almost over. It's almost over, man. Uh, you know, hey, <laughs> hey, we got to, uh, you know, strap our boots up, so to speak. Hey, it's about to get bad out here. But, you know, I was watching the beloved brother Ayashimaf, uh last night. Hey, um, hey, through your how was shy, we already got the victory. We just got to trust in the victory, you know. They just so in tears, Sharif and Joy. You think about all the hell our leadership caught, you know, our elder apostles and elder bishops. Them going out there week in, week out, and them living the scriptures, you know, them living it, you know, for decades, you know. Not them necessarily just teaching the truth only, but applying it, living it. And that's the real battle. You know, those off camera scenes, you know, where they had to go through all that, you know. The, the behind the scenes of a prophet because because everybody you know that they'll see the work you know you'll see what's produced you know the, the different videos but, but you don't see the hell that the men of the lord had to go through to get that to you you know to get the, to get that package delivered to you so to speak and and they've been going through it for years man but see they're gonna reap in joy very soon you know as well as the other members of the hopeful elect he that goeth forth and weepeth, because hey, you sighing and crying, and not only in videos, but, you know, your, your prayers, you pray, and your hell you catching the weak. They that sow in tears, reap in joy. He that goeth forth and weepeth, talking about the prophets, you know, bearing precious seed. What's the precious seed? The word of, of Yahweh, which is Yahweh Shai, you know. You have the word in your possession. And you're sowing it in the minds of the elect. When you teach, he that go forth and weepeth, bearing precious seed. The, the precious seed is the precious son of the heavenly father. This word, all right, you know, you're teaching it. Shall doubtless come again with rejoicing. We going home soon, man. Shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and like Jake be saying, my whole team with me. Hey, you know, because you're doing this, what, what the beloved Apostle Paul say, you're doing this 
so you can be saved, but also the others that hear you. You know? Hey, hey, the Lord said, you have not chosen me, but I've chosen you that you should go forth and, and, uh, and bring forth fruit, other members of the elect, and that your fruit shall remain. The members of the elect, not, not one of them shall perish. You know, we going home, man. We're going home soon. Lord willing. OK, that's the hope. And um, that's pretty much it, man. You know, I just wanted to get this song. I can get you a scripture in Job. You know, um, you know what? I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. <laughs> I thought about it. I thought about it and I laughed. So I, I, I gotta get it for you. You know, he's not gonna fly away. God damn it. He gonna fly away. <laughs> tired of seeing E, bro. It, it just comes to a point. You tired of seeing Esau, man? You tired of seeing him? In power, you tired of seeing them happy, laughing, you know, they goofy ass, you know, like you, you get tired of seeing these weirdos, man, just being honest, you know, and they have no right to rule over us, like, but you, you know, hey, well, you know, we pissed the Lord off, we pissed our God off, so he did it, but just look at these people, man, they, they sloppy as hell, they, they all off, once again, they weird, and they wicked, they the, they the wicked, you know, Job ch chapter 20, verse four. Knowest thou not this or old since man was placed upon the earth? So don't you know going way back, <laughs> way back in the beginning, that the triumphing of the wicked is short. You know, they're triumphing, them excelling, them, them being over everybody is temporary. And they're the wicked. You Edomites are the wicked. Period. And the joy of the hypocrite, but for a moment. So it wasn't meant to last. You know, you have something that's called planned obsolescence. Everything in the society is set up to break down. Whether it be your car, whether it be your phone, whether it be the infrastructure in this place. What we would say in the book of the prophet Isaiah, the worm is spread under thee. You know, potholes every goddamn <laughs> few feet you drive. This place is done, man. You know, and the Lord pretty much set up the planet Earth to reset itself when, when wickedness gets so great up on the Earth. You know, even during the whole Crown Vicky Hickey C19 pandemic, I want to say going back to 2020, when uh when the elite shut down the world, you could say, you know, when they had that shutdown, basically you had a lot of different animals freely roaming around the Earth as if Esau wasn't destroying it, man. Because everybody was in the damn house. Well, see, the Lord is really going to bring a, a real a restoration. A real great reset. And they talking about that stuff at Davos. There is some bullshit, man. All right. And uh, Dr. Evil, Klaus Schwab, man, uh, which we, we happy that the Lord got him doing it. He pushing that thing. You know, inviting guys like Idris Elba at the... Uh, World Economic Forum, like, man, what his ass doing there? But they they making this thing hip and get hip to the, you know, see hip. <laughs> like the beloved elder apostle Tahar said years ago, man, they're going to use Jake to push it. That's why he just Elba there, you know, receiving an award and, you know, but they always do that. You know, they, they make Jake the face of things. We'll see how it goes. But anyway, eat them going down and they know it. Revelation 12 and 12 is going to happen. Because they know that they're finished. You know, they're going to come down with that great wrath. But see, that's good. They're going to push that sea hip. It's going to be a, a major shutdown. And the next shutdown that's coming is going to be the real one. We're going to see how things go. But uh, 2023 is going to be a hell of a ride, man. All right. But anyway, sticking to the point of this video, Esau, Edom, his world is, is done. And... um. Lord willing, we're going to get up out of here soon. When the Lord save us, it's going to be like waking up from a nightmare, man. Okay? Though His Excellency, though his excellency mount up to the, to the heavens, so the greatness of His kingdom, you know, uh, their technology and everything they're about, th this whole system they got set up that the Lord gave them, you know, got their airplanes in the air, they got weapons in space, satellites in, in the heavens, you know, they got that going on. 
and his head reaching to the clouds by way of technology, right? Yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. Cause cause this place is gonna be destroyed. Completely. America, Babylon the Great, is going to be destroyed completely, which is gonna bring about a an, an immediate domino effect of the entire B system of the entire B system that's set up. You know, once you get rid of the uh, the source or the root of the problem, the, the rest of it goes away. All right. You see these skylines all, you know, throughout the world, pretty much these different high places that Esau Edom got. They all going to be done. They all going to be destroyed, man. You know. And also him perishing forever like his own dung. That's literal. Eventually, once we get you Edomites in the kingdom, after you serve your thousand year sentence, you're going to be exterminated as a nation. And, and that's going to make everyone on the planet fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh forever. When you see what the Lord does to the wicked, you know. But see, that fear is also going to be exhibited on this side. It's going to be. Brought to fruition on this side once the Lord destroys Babylon the Great, the most wicked kingdom to ever exist on earth. You know, wicked queendom, should I say. Yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say, Where is he? It's gonna be like, man, you know, what's a white man? <laughs> what is a what is an America? What's a European? All right? Nah, that's an Edomite. <laughs> we gonna make it. hey this it's funny esau edom the hey, the edomites they beat our nationality out of us when we was in slavery under them and we still in slavery under them but i'm talking about when we was out in the field you know when they first put us in slavery they was beating our name out of us beating our nationality out of us but see in the kingdom of heaven which is coming very soon when your how will come back we're gonna beat your nationality in you you an Edomite. Wow. You know, just that, that whip hit your ass. <laughs> Crack your back. <laughs> you know. Out of warm You know what I'm saying? You, you, you getting hit with that damn whip. You gonna remember your name, boy. You made us forget who we were. We gonna make you remember who you are. You a damn Edomite. Alright? Verse 8. He shall fly away as a dream. There we go, goddammit. Going back to uh, Psalm 126. When the Lord turned again to captivity of Zion, when, when, when he saves Israel from, from their slavery, we were like them that dream. It's going to be like we're coming out of a dream. Because the reality is that we're better than you people. We're above you people. We're superior to you people. You're the subhuman. And and, and uh, by nature, you're under us. You're inferior. You know? But, but see, the, the Lord punished us. And, and ultimately, this showed the Lord's power too. What's that one saying? So easy, even a caveman can do it. That's what the Lord did with Esau. The Lord gave this man the, the greatest kingdom to ever exist on the earth. Now, it's wicked. But look at all the technology the Lord gave Esau. He's going to take this man down in one hour. Make, make make a a, a quick work of you, a, a short work of you. What it's saying, uh, is it Zephaniah? <laughs> make make of you even a speedy riddance. So it's hey, just like when you wake up out of a dream, it's like you're waking up quick. And it'd be hard to like, you know, remember the dream, you know, you want to remember it. You know, especially like if it was, an, you know, a very intense dream, like, man, the, the dream had all types of good parts in it. And sometimes, you know, horrible parts too. Ultimately, it was a nightmare, but you're like, man, it was a hell of a dream. But then, you know, you're trying to, you know, Remember it? You're making an effort to remember it, scratching your head, you can't remember it. That's how it's gonna be when the Lord destroy America. Alright? And this place is gonna be left as the example on the earth what happens to wickedness. You know? The Lord burns it with fire. Alright? He shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found. America's not gonna exist. It's gonna be the biggest desert on the planet. Yeah, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahusha, Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahusha, Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahusha, Bahasham, Racha Hakudash. All right. I'm going to read verse 9 and 10, and that's going to be it. 
The eye also which saw him shall see him no more, neither shall his place any more behold him. Right, because America is going to be done away with. You know? And in, in the kingdom of heaven, uh, eventually, you Edomite is going to be done away with. Eventually. And you're not going to have the land of Edom. You're not going to be here. A uh, uh, Judah, the land of Judah, is going to absorb Edom. Look at a, a map of uh, of the land of Israel and the surrounding areas. You know, Edom is going to be absorbed, okay? And that's poetic justice, all right? Because y'all put a lot of hell on the tribe of Judah, you know? His children, or, or his sons, rather, his sons shall seek to please the poor, and his hands shall restore their goods. So now we're in a time where, you know, Edomites, they have that uh, so-called white guilt. They feel bad, but there's nothing you can do. There's no way you can make it right. We don't give a damn. You say you got black friends. You got Hispanic friends. You got Native American friends. You're, you're, you're a quarter Cherokee. We don't hear none of that shit. All right? You give food to the homeless. You know, you, you do this, you do that. It don't matter. Ultimately, you got to go through what we went through. You got to go through what we went through. You got to go into slavery. Boy. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's your turn. And you're going to restore our goods, which is you restoring the whole earth. Because you stole everything, man. All right? I'm going to close that on this. All right? You know, it's, it's uh, 2 one in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I had some setbacks early in the day. I uh, I had some setbacks. You know, just crazy stuff happened, you know. Um, but Lord willing, man, I can get my videos in today. You know what I'm saying? Um, Lord willing. You know, specifically dealing with the northern tribes, I want to get into that. You know, um, so I'm close out, man. Brock the Yahweh, Brock the El Shah, Brock the Yahweh, Brock the El Shah, Brock the Yahweh, Brock the El Shah, Bahasham, Rakha Hakwadash, double honor to all the apostles and all the bishops, great millstone. Peace and blessed to the elect. Shalom.